Hi, my name is Hoyt Ng. I am the Senior Director for Coaching and Programming at Haas. Welcome to the school. So last week, um, we had an exercise on skills. And the exercise was to get you thinking differently about your skills and talking about them differently than simply just listing them out. This week, we're going to change a little bit and uh, do a new exercise. And this exercise is really going to be about the topics that surround behavioral interviews. So over the next five to six weeks, we're going to introduce a new topic. And this exercise came about because <clears throat> what I've noticed at Haas is that there were two types of students. We have this huge database of all the sort of behavioral questions that students get, ans uh, get asked in, in their interviews. And this, it's all available for everyone to look at. And there's a set of students that will actually go into that database, write all those things down, and keep track of their own Excel spreadsheet of all the ways they're going to answer each of those questions. And they usually will create this database of 50 to 60 answers to these questions. And then they try to memorize <laughs> all of those answers to those questions. So I thought it was curious. Then there's another set of students that seem to be able to go in with minimum amount of prep and just kind of nail these behavioral interviews. They just seem very comfortable. The delivery was authentic. And what I've noticed between the difference between the two is that the students that kind of go in with that level of comfort have actually thought about these topics beforehand. They've actually reflected on what they believe about things such as failure, success, teaming, cooperation, and so on and so forth. So they actually, it was very natural, and all we did was spend time just polishing and organizing the stories. Okay. So what I did was I looked at the spreadsheet, and I went through the whole entire spreadsheet, and I noticed there was a pattern. And what I noticed was that if I were to drill down, all those questions are really centered around six to eight topics. That if you understand what you know about these six to eight topics, that's all you really need to do to prepare for behavioral interview. Have that content, what is your belief about these things? And then we can just work on the polish. So, what we're going to do over the, uh, every week is we're going to have a coach come in and introduce one of these topics to tell you why they're asking it, why it's important. And then there's going to be some worksheets um, for you to go through. And these worksheets are really designed to provoke your thinking about these topics. Hopefully, you'll understand, what is it that I really believe about failure, right? And what's a statement that I can make about failure? For instance, I really believe failure is an important part of learning. And as an important part of that learning, the, the skill development is actually not around error avoidance, but about error recovery. And that's what I believe about failure. Great. Once you get to that point, the next part of the exercise is simply, do you actually have a story that illustrates that belief in action? And that's all we want you to do. Just sketch out the story. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to polish that when you get here. Right? This exercise will, again, hopefully get you ahead of the game so that you can be really successful when your career search in the fall. So good luck with the exercise. Please, if you have any sort of questions or concerns or about the exercise, please email us at mbacareers at haas.berkeley.edu. Um, good luck. Uh, shouldn't take more than an hour. And enjoy the summer.